Well, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is our detox video. This is a detox video and welcome back to your bariatric corner and this Facebook live. It's mid-May. I want to do a, um, a mid-May spring detox video. Desiree, you're just in time for the detox video. Um, we're all trying to be as healthy as we can. So let's talk about today's topic. So it's a free three day, well, it's actually three to six day menu for all of you. Kelsey, hey. Um, so I have a free three to six day menu for you. I'm gonna put the link in after the video. You're gonna click it, you can download it. So I call it three day or six day free mid-May bariatric detox because we're all super busy, right? And so who needs to think about six days of menus and, and cooking and shopping? I mean, why not just take three really prepared days and double them to make six? So you can do day one, two, three, and then repeat day one, two, three, or you can just do two days day one, two days day two, and two days day three, right? And the, the, um, it just makes my life a lot easier. Um, it makes grocery shopping easier. It makes meal preps, just an easier way to do it. Kelsey, Jerry, Tracy, and Angelica from Florida, Davey, Teresa. Thanks, guys. So this three-day menu of mine is not fancy. It really just cuts to the chase, and it consists of just real food. Because as you guys know, hey, Julie, this is not a fan of boxed anything. If it's boxed, it means it's filled with chemicals and stabilizers, emulsifiers, flavorings, and colorings. Boo, yuck. We really want to stay away from all of those things, right? So high protein boxed chicken noodle soup. Uh, boo, what the heck is that, right? And it's sold specifically for Bear Archer clients. Do yourself a favor and learn how to make the chicken soup. Don't buy it, especially if it's coming in a box. Lisa, hey Lisa. So also a lot of detoxes, when you hear the word detox, they're full of fruits. So guys, I'm sorry, but this one is not. And that's because a lot of my clients, they have blood sugar issues, right? And so eating high amounts of fruit is not what they require. Thanks for the thumbs up. This is a little bit different. Um, so why am I speaking about food? Who am I and what's going on and why am I talking about bariatrics? So I, it's because I'm a specialist in bariatric nutrition. I'm an RHN, registered holistic nutritionist and a bariatric surgery coordinator. So let's dig in. Hey Joan, this Monday coming up, let's all do this detox. So why do we need the detox? What's going on? I just feel that sometimes we need that little extra push, right? Sometimes we're feeling low in energy. Sometimes we're just not feeling our best. So a detox is like a time to shake things up and to start feeling our best again. As we know, food is medicine, food is our secret weapon, and food is like super powerful. The right foods can really help us to create a feeling of wellness. And that's what we're all looking for, guys. I want you to feel well, and I want you to feel powerful. I want you to wake up in the morning and think, God, this day is awesome. I'm full of energy. And how many of you out there feel like that right now? Do you? Put hands up if you do. Um, I need to start detox on Monday as well because I really need um, a good old detox so I can feel that energy when I get out of bed in the morning. So any of you, have any of you guys tried a detox before? Have you done any of the detox programs out there? Just curious. Um, I have a vitamin giveaway to, give, to do today also. Um, in just a few minutes, I'm going to give away one bottle and then I'll do the second bottle at the end of the video. So this specific short detox is the way to help you get back into eating into a more, like a more natural way of eating. It incorporates fresh vegetables, very little fruit, eggs, meat, fish, nuts, seeds, and of course, a good dose of healthy fats. It's going to cleanse your body of the pre-packaged foods and the refined and processed carbohydrates that we tend to, um, to eat, right? We tend to, to go to, our go-to foods. Valentina, Brandy, you want to win, Brandy. I want you to win the bottle of vitamins too. Fingers crossed. Two more minutes, I'm going to do the first draw. But you know what, guys? You actually don't need a detox because a detox is just a catchy name 
Our body already knows how to detox, right? Our body is detoxing itself 24 seven. It's always detoxing. Our internal organs, um, they know how to take care of this process and our external organs, like for example, the skin, it's constantly slough, sloughing off, right? Constantly. So that's our external way of uh, detoxing. Thanks for the thumbs up. So when you hear the word detox, it actually means cleansing of our blood. This is what the body does to remove itself, remove um, impurities from itself. All these toxins are removed and they're sent to the liver and they're eliminated through the liver, right? So we use other organs also like the kidneys and, uh, and our lungs for detoxification. Hey, Selena. So when you see me write the word detox, please think of it as you're supporting your organs. You're helping your organs out so that they do their detox job a little bit better and a little bit easier. Give them a little bit of a break. You're encouraging them and giving them fuel to have them have an easier time. Hey, Kara. So there's certain foods that your internal organs, they just really appreciate. And so that's what we're going to feed them on this three day detox plan. We're going to eat. You guys hear me say it all the time, whole, live, fresh, natural, good quality food. There's no prepackaged items or no prepackaged anything on this detox. Hey, Selena. Um, if you're feeling hungry, eat more vegetables, reach for the vegetables, carrot sticks, zucchini sticks, cucumbers, um, cauliflower, broccoli, Melinda. I hope you win too. I hope you guys all win. Hey, here's another Melinda. Oh, Melinda Bish. Hey, Melinda. Melinda and Melinda. Hmm. So um, you can eat your vegetables however you like, right? You can eat them raw, you can eat them grilled, you can eat them baked, you can eat them broiled, boiled, however you want to eat your vegetables is fine. So by lightening up your toxic load, you're helping to remove the obstacles to allow your body to heal better and faster. So no smoking or vaping during this detox, um, no alcohol, no refined sugars. Okay. So Marilyn, what about six weeks out? Like you right now at six weeks, you can have everything that is on this menu. And, um, actually, yeah, you'll be fine. I just don't think you're going to have enough space in your pouch to be able to fully do, um, eat everything on the, on the menu. But if you stick with the meals that I've planned, um, like, uh, uh, scrambled eggs with vegetables, for example, that would be fine. It'd be perfect. Hi, Kim Calloway. How are you? Um, so Marlene, you can give the G detox a try. Um, that's fine. See how it goes. Guys, this is not a low carb diet. This is not a high fat diet. This is not a high protein diet. This is a plan to help your body eliminate toxins, right? This is what we're, this is what our goals are with this short detox, the short three or six day detox. So once you've completed the detox, um, you can then move towards the food lifestyle of your choice, whether it be keto, whether it be paleo, whether it be South beach, or it could be vegan. It could be vegetarian. It could be Atkins, um, whatever, you know, it's, it's to do your detox and then move to your clean way of eating. Hi Haley. It's a simple plan, whole fry, whole life, fresh, natural, good quality food. Um, like I said earlier, lots of detoxes contain a lot of fruits and whole grains, but I feel that a lot of you out there, a lot of, of my clients, they have blood sugar issues. So if you, if those clients, if I give them quinoa, the sweet potatoes and fruit, it's going to affect them differently and not in a good way, right? Jennifer and Laurel guys, if you have questions, let me know. You see most of those detoxes, you'll see fresh juices and, oh, and th this just does not contain any of that. So this is why, hi Cindy, hi Candice, this is why I've made clients this way. Um, so it's not high in carbohydrate, so it doesn't, uh, I don't, I'm not saying it's a low carb, I'm just saying it's not a, it's not a high carb diet. Um, so each day contains about, contains about um, 1200 calories, that's what I've planned, 12, 1300 calories. Um, if you're like Marlene and recently post-op, don't worry about the calories, just do your best. Guys, I want you to keep a food log and write everything down. Even if you have your bariatric menu, um, if you follow it to a T, that's fine. But if you make any changes, write it down so I can see it. Log it because it's going to help you realize you're, when you're eating and make 
make notes when you're in your in your log. Make notes about how you're feeling, if you're feeling better energy, if you wake up feeling better, make a note of it. Okay. Um, no gum or breast breath mints during this detox. Okay, just like they're just little chemically things. No, please. Um, water, okay? 64 ounces, plain water. Don't add the flavoring in your water for the detox, okay? Mm. If you miss your coffee, no caffeine, right? Okay, well, caffeine, if you are going to drink green tea, that would be fine. Guys, I know we all love our coffee, but you know what? It's just for three days. You can have some green, hot green tea, or you can have some um, hot water with lemon. That would be fine, okay? Have you guys ever heard of dry brushing? This is part of the detox. Phyllis, Oscar, hey guys. Dry brushing. Okay, if you haven't heard about it, I want you to Google it. Um, it's a, help it, it's a, a form of detox that helps your body detox. So you're going to get a dry, it's a special brush, right? And you're going to brush your skin before your shower and you're going to brush in the movement towards your heart. You can brush down here, brush up on your stomach. Look at the techniques for dry brushing. You're going to dry brush before your shower or before your bath every day okay hey Jennifer you're going to exercise every day yes we're gonna exercise every day I don't care if it's walking or you take a bike ride or if you um, go for a swim the weather's well here spring has kind of missed us this year I have really sucky weather right now but for all the rest of you has nice weather go for a swim or play in the backyard with a ball just a little bit half an hour a day of exercise hey Holly sleep okay my good patient out there please sleep do your best seven to eight hours a night is going to help when you're on this detox program good afternoon Jennifer to you the more closely that you're going to follow this plan the more effective it's going to be so I want you to try it let me know how it goes send me an email with your statistics pre detox I'll be waiting for the email you guys know my email address or shoot me up here on messenger um, let me know your pre-statistics and then you're going to email me when you're done the detox, whether it's three days, four days, five days, or six days. You're going to email me. You're going to tell me how your statistics are. Um, and so, and if we do well, then I'm going to put together a new menu for the next weeks. So here it is, guys. A three-day bariatric detox. Um, we're going to start with day one. Okay, so. Yes, and if you don't like breakfast on day one, you can swap it out for breakfast on day two, right? Or you can change it up a little bit. Just reach out and ask me, and I'll give you some more ideas if you don't like it. Guys, I love this chaya seed pudding. Oh, my God, it's so good for you. And if you haven't tried it, don't knock it. It's really easy. You, really, it's three things. You get a cup. You go to the supermarket or any store. Get some chaya seeds. Chia or chaya. I say chia. You say chaya. No, we all say it a little bit different. Two tablespoons in there of chaya. And then it's just little, little tiny baby seeds. And you put a, um, a half a cup of frozen berries, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Those are the four berries. And you mix that with one cup of coconut milk or almond milk or cashew milk. Or if you want, you can use, if you like your real milk and you don't have problems with dairy, go ahead and use the normal milk. No sugar added, please. Mix that up. Two hours later, you have chaya seed pudding. Or you can put it in the fridge at nighttime and eat it the next day. Prepare two. There's two breakfasts in a row. It'll keep you full. Those little seeds, they expand, and they make like a, like a pudding texture. Hey, Evelyn Henry, nice to see you. Hey, Lisa. Okay, so that's breakfast detox day one. Um, the lunch on day two is going to be a dark green salad. Um, so dark green salad greens. So you can use arugula or spinach or any kind of lettuce that you love, a Swiss chard or every kind of, or just regular iceberg lettuce, right? Use lettuce. Top that with four ounces of chicken breast. You can uh, cut into pieces or just put the hunk on there, however you like. Throw on some sesame seeds, olive oil, lemon, and salt. Boom. Yummy, easy, super easy lunch for you, right? Cool. Got it. Snack. Half an apple and a handful of almonds um, in the afternoon. Or you can have that first snack at nighttime as well, right? Half an apple. Okay, an apple is not an apple. It's like small, like smaller than your fist, right? Okay. Dinner, we're having um, five ounces of baked white fish. You can top that with olive oil and some lemon and a large serving of broccoli with a pat of butter. Bonus points if the butter is grass-fed. Okay? That's it. Day one. Boom. Done. Let's keep going. Day two, breakfast. One to two fried eggs, 
top with a tablespoon of mozzarella cheese and um, one cup of low carb vegetables. So you could do spinach, fry up some spinach or saute some spinach. Hey, <laughs> Lisa Robinson, how it's going? Pretty good, pretty darn good, Lisa. I've been watching you on Facebook. You're looking really good. Um, so I want you to top that um, fried egg with um, the vegetables of your choice. So I would choose, um, for example, mushrooms and tomatoes are my favorite. I'm not a big Spanish, sauteed Spanish fan, but if you are, you can use um, sauteed spinach. That's awesome. Use the vegetables that you like. Hi, Irene. Um, so lunch, let's move on. We're going to do four ounces of salmon, and we're going to do that on a top of a bed of spinach. I would use arugula because I don't like spinach that much or any leafy green that you like. Top that with half a cup of chickpeas, dress it with olive oil and lemon juice. Boom, beautiful, real, whole, live, natural, good quality food, right? That's awesome. For the snack on the detox, it's a half a cup of cottage cheese and a half a cup of berries. Dr. Kelly Ramos, thanks for watching. Dr. Kelly is an awesome surgeon in Tijuana. Amy Bronk, thanks for joining. Dinner on day two of the detox. So we got four ounces of lean ground beef or turkey burger mushrooms and onions and we're going to serve that on a bed of mixed greens topped with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Yum! How easy is that? It's going to take you five minutes to prepare that dinner or you can prep it on Sunday to have it ready to go, right? Last day. Everyone's great. Two days, first two days are good. Thumbs up. First two days are good. We like it. We like it. Day three and moving on. Breakfast. One cup of Greek yogurt. I'm going to Throw in two tablespoons, or sorry, teaspoons of flax seeds and half a cup of berries. Make sure when you have your flax seeds, the flax seed is ground, not whole, because you're not going to be able to digest it if it's whole. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Um, for lunch that day, um, we're going to do baked four ounce chicken breast topped with mozzarella cheese and a large slice of tomato. We're going to grill that. Yum. Oh, Jennifer, don't worry. Um, I'm talking really quickly, but I'm going to have the link. You're going to click on the link and you're going to download it for free. Yay. <laughs> can be easier. So don't worry. Just watch the end of the video. Oh, um, let me just continue here on day three. And then um, I'm going to do a draw for the barrack to vitamin. Okay. Snack is going to be one and a half ounces of raw nuts and seeds. So raw nuts and seeds. Don't get them roasted or salted or get them raw. I want those beautiful almonds or sesame seeds, sunflower seeds. Get them raw, please. Um, dinner, so this is the last part of the detox, is going to be a breakfast for dinner. So two egg omelet filled with asparagus. And serve it if, you're, if, it's, if you have enough space in your pouch and you're still hungry, you can serve it with cooked cauliflower on the side. Oh, you're welcome, Jennifer. <laughs> so I'm going to put up that link in just a few minutes. Oh, I forgot about the bariatric vitamins. Who wants to win bariatric vitamins? There's my bowl. All of you guys, you are um, in this bowl. You're all in there because you all watch this video in a right, except Dr. Ramos. I don't think your name is in here. <laughs> okay, so these are the ones I'm giving away. Oh, just lost my sleeve. Oh, sorry. I'm making a mess. Okay, here they are. They're the multivitamins. Me, me, me. Who wants them? Okay, there's the bowl. Hand in the bowl. Name comes out. Tammy Robinson. Are you there, Tammy? Are you there right now? I think you're there. One more. Let's do another one. Tammy Robinson. Next one. Whose name? Nikki Page. Nikki Page, are you there? We're going to do one more. Nikki. One more. <clears throat> Lisa Fabian. Lisa Fabian. There you go. Cool. I'm going to do some more draw at the end of the video, okay? So, let's keep pushing forward. Hey, Sissy. Sissy Ward. Any questions about the diet? How do you like it? All good? So, if you work this diet, it's going to work. You'll be feeling better. You're going to have a clearer head. You're going to have improved energy. You have removed all the sugar and alcohol and refined and processed carbohydrates and sugar and... Uh, and regular sugars out of your diet, right? Awesome. Whole life fresh, natural, really good quality food. There's nothing boxed in there. You're eating real food. 
Amber and Jessica, I thought, thanks for watching. So, one more vitamin, okay, two more vitamins, um, two more vitamins. Let's do it. I'm almost finished my video here. It's been 20 minutes. I've been gabbing at you guys this whole time. And I'm going to go for two more names. Here we go. Deborah Learn. Deborah. And another name here. And I have June Bryant. And number six, Jennifer Wellborn. Does grilled ship shrimp count as fish? Awesome question. Yes, it does. If you don't like that fish, exchange it for grilled shrimp. Perfect. Deborah, you won. Yes, 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 you. Yes. Yay, Deborah. Deborah, yay. <laughs> okay, one more. Last one. I'm going to go pour with the vitamins. Okay. Who is this? Lacey Waddle. Lacey. There you go. Cool. Okay, so if you didn't win this week, you're still in here. Because every time I see a new name join, I add them in here. And if not, I just keep the names um, from the weeks before. Brenda Jackson. Hey. hey. That's it for the detox video. And, um, okay, so any other questions about the detox? Anyways, if you have questions, you don't have to worry about it. I will be uh, right here to answer all your questions. So I guess this is uh, off. I'm going to go off. I'm going to see you next Friday. If you guys have any special topics you want me to talk about, happy just send me a message and I will get that video set up for you have a super nice weekend hey hey Brenda have a super nice weekend and reach out to me when you start that detox on Monday and uh, I'm gonna cheer you on personally I'm gonna be your personal coach cheering you on along the way getting back on track it's mid spring let's do this boys and girls <laughs> bye for now I'll see you guys again soon bye <laughs>